Hey guys, Devil Slayer here. Don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please, please leave a like. It really helps the channel out. And if not, just please leave a like. As always, Devil Slayer Productions makes the best videos. Where are my ships, soldier? I was told there would be another fleet of eight. I'm sorry, Maria, but this is the best we could do. It's barely big enough to hold our cargo. How do you propose to get the rest of us to Cyprus? Begging your pardon, but it might be better if you stayed in Accra. What is that? A threat? It's fair warning. Armand Bouchard is Grand Master now, and he doesn't hold you in high regard. Why, you insolent! Very well, this ship is yours. I'll find my own way to Limassol. Yes, my lady. Damn! I was a single heartbeat from knighthood. Now I'm little more than a mercenary. Well, what a surprise! The man who spared my neck, but stole my life. Turn to finish me off. Not just yet. I want information. Why are the Templars sailing for Cyprus? It's been a long, dirty war, assassin. Everyone deserves a holiday. The more you tell me, the longer you'll live. So I'll ask again, why the retreat to Cyprus? What retreat? King Richard has brokered a truce with Saladin, and your order is leaderless, is it not? Once we recover the Apple of Eden, you'll be the one running. I'll save my breath. The Apple of Eden is well hidden. Altair, consider your options carefully. The Templars would pay you a great price for that relic. They already have, haven't they? What's happening on Cyprus that would concern the Templars? Civil strife, perhaps. Their Emperor Isaac Komnenis picked a fight with King Richard many months ago, and now he rots in a Templar dungeon. A pity. Isaac was so easily bent, so willing to take a bribe. Ah, those days are past. Now the Templars own the island, purchased from the King for a paltry sum. Ah, well that's not the kind of governance we want to encourage. Do we have any contacts there? I know of one in Limassol. A man named Alexander. Send him a message. Tell him to expect me within the week. Yes, Altair.
If there is good to be found in this artifact, I will discover it. But if it is only capable of inspiring evil and despair, I hope I possess the strength to destroy it. I just started screaming. People would cover their ears and carry on. They've seen an unhappy uh. slave before. This port is off limits. Show your face. Nothing under this hood but an ugly old assassin. Altair? Alexander. You got my message. I assumed it was a Templar trap. Who is the woman? Templar bait. She was Robert de Saab's girl. Don't belittle me, murderer. I'm a Templar too. Unfortunately, she's a bit of a burden. We can hold her for you, Altair. We have a secure safe house. Good. I'm going to have a look around. I'll meet you there. Quite a ghost town, hmm? People are afraid to leave their homes for fear of breaking some obscure new law. The Templars have never been interested in governing before. I wonder why now. I won't assume you're here out of charity. Can I ask your purpose? It's a complicated story, but can be summed up easily. The Templars have access to knowledge and weapons far more deadly than anyone could have imagined. I plan to change this. One such weapon is in our hands. A device with the ability to warp men's minds. If the Templars possess more like it, I want to know. And we can certainly trust the Assassins to put the Apple of Eden to better use. Where are the Templars holed up now? In Limassol Castle. But they're expanding their reach. And how do I get inside? Kill the Captain of the Castle Guard. With him dead, it's likely one of our spies would be promoted to the post. And if that happens, well, you can walk right in. It's a start. Good day. What are you staring at? I'm not causing trouble. Have you seen anyone suspicious? What business have you crusaders got on Cyprus, hmm? If you have no reason to be here, then move along. I hate this damned island. What was that? It is done. Good. Now find the Templar named Osman and tell him Alexander wishes his grandmother a joyous birthday. He will trust you then. Where do I find him? The Cathedral Square. He will be there soon. Osman thinks I'm coming to meet him, but you're the better man for this job. Greetings, Osman. Alexander sends his regards, and wishes your grandmother a joyous birthday. Ah, the dear lady. May she rest in peace. Now, how may I help you, my friend? Can you tell me why the Templars purchased Cyprus? Was it to set up another exchequer? I don't rank high enough to know for certain, but I have heard talk of an archive of some kind. An archive? Interesting. And who is the ranking Templar in Limassol? A knight named Frederick the Red. He trained soldiers in Limassol Castle. A real brute. With the castle guard dead, what would it take to get me inside? Assuming I am appointed to his position, I could find an excuse to reduce the castle watch for a short time. Will that work? I'll make it work. Osman is making arrangements as we speak. Excellent. Now what? We give him some time. He also told me about the Templar Archive. Have you heard of such a thing? Of course. That's where we keep our undergarments. 
Cyprus would be a good location to safeguard both knowledge and weapons. With the right strategy, it's an easy island to defend. Ah, if only our foolish Emperor had possessed such foresight. King Richard made short work of him. I'll be back soon. No mercy, men! This is an island of superstitious heathens! Remember, they do not want you here! They do not like you! They do not understand the true wisdom of your cause! And they are scheming at every turn to cast you out! So stay on your guard and trust no one! Find the chinks in your opponent's armor and strike hard! That's right! Good! Steady! Memory log updated. has shaken my order. Dear Frederick the Red, slain. He who served God and the people of Cyprus with honor is paid tribute with a murderer's blade? Who among you will deliver those responsible to me? Cowards, you leave me no choice but to flush out this killer myself. I hereby grant my men immunity until this investigation is concluded. Bouchard, the citizens are already restless. Perhaps this is not the best idea. If anyone else has objections, I invite you to step forward. Armand Bouchard! Who's that? Ah, an old colleague. Bouchard, an assassin has come to Cyprus. I managed to escape, but he cannot be far behind. Why, Maria, that would make this your second miraculous escape from the assassins, no? Once when de Saab was the target, and now here on my island. I am not in league with the assassins, Bouchard. Please, listen. De Saab was a weak-willed wretch. Verse 70 of the Founding Templar rule expressly forbids consorting with women, for it is through women that the devil weaves his strongest web. De Saab ignored this tenant and paid with his life. How dare you! Touched a nerve, did I? Lock her up! Yeah. What's this? Step back. Get your hands off me. They consider me a traitor, thanks to you. I am only a convenient excuse for your wrath, Maria. The Templars are your real enemy. I will kill you when I get the chance. If you get the chance. But then you'll never find the Apple of Eden. And what would Curry more favor with the Templars right now? My head or that artifact? I thought so. Despite his bravado, Bouchard obviously took Maria's warning seriously. My sources tell me that after destroying our safe house, he immediately sailed for Karenia. That's a shame. I was hoping to meet him. What's the fastest route there? By boat, definitely. But those pirates won't let you hop aboard one of their ships without good reason. Find a man named Pasha in the ports. Tell him to honor the favor he owes me, and he might be able to get you on the next ship heading north. You're a well-connected man, Alexander. Alexander is calling in his favor, Pasha. 
He needs you to find me safe passage to Kerenia. Ah, <laughs> you must be the resistance cutthroat I've heard stories about. Chasing down Armand Bouchard, are you? Armand and his precious cargo. Cargo? Tell me more. Oh, I've just heard rumors. Holy artifacts of all kinds on these ships. For all I know, he's got the Ark of the Covenant hidden somewhere nearby. En route to the Templar Archive, no doubt. Your guess is as good as mine. As for your transport, meet me on the docks later this afternoon, and I'll see that you get safely aboard. There will be two of us. We won't be late. I'm curious about this Templar cargo. The ship's manifest might contain clues about what the Templars are bringing to their archive. I should have a look now before we set sail. Before the ship is crawling with pirates. This manifest is a mess! A shoddy job done by lazy men. Unless this is a deliberate attempt to hide something. What the hell are you doing? Ah. Where is that damned fool? Where is my first mate? He's gone ashore, Captain. In search of wine and women, eh? <laughs> Listen, we sail for Kyrenia in two hours. If he's not back in one, he's off this ship. The Templars aren't paying me to play servant to a bunch of drunks. I found a ship headed for Kyrenia. We're leaving now. If you expect me to behave while you drag me onto a boat full of pirates, you're mistaken. If the pirates find you, they'll hand you over to the Templars for a handsome reward. Right back into Bouchard's hands. I wish you luck, Altair. Karenia is a rough place these days. But we have many friends in the City Watch. Look for a man named Barnabas in the Commons District. I have not heard from him for some weeks, however, so you may be on your own. Thank you, Alexander. If I return to Limassol, I will report all that I have learned. By then we will have established ourselves a new safe house. Find us there. I struggle to make sense of the Apple of Eden, its function and purpose. But I can say with certainty that its origins are not divine. No, it is a tool. A machine of exquisite precision. What sort of men were they who brought this marvel into the world? That's a lovely ring. It was a gift from Robert de Sable when he took me under his wing. This is about all I have left of my ties to the Templars now. Did you study philosophy, Maria? I've read scraps, nothing more. The philosopher Empedocles preached that all life on Earth began simply, in rudimentary forms. Hands without arms, heads without bodies, eyes without faces. He believed that all these early forms combined, very gradually over time, creating all the variety of life we see before us. Interesting, hmm? <laughs> I don't see the point of your ramblings. Only a mind free of impediments is capable of grasping the chaotic beauty of the world. This is our greatest asset. But is chaos something to be celebrated? Is disorder a virtue? It presents us with challenges, yes, but freedom yields greater rewards than the alternative. The order and peace that the Templars seek requires servility and imprisonment. Hmm, I know the feeling. I knew it was him, I told you. I'll bet the Templars would pay a pretty handsome reward for those two.
this? Stay where you are. Thought I'd seen the last of you. If only I were so lucky. What is your business with this woman? Are you a Templar lackey? No, sir. The pirates attacked her and I had to help. But I'm no lackey. I can't stand these Templars. I understand. You're not alone. My name is Marco, sir. I'll help in any way I can, if it means ridding my country of these Crusaders. Then I need you to keep this woman safe until I return. I have to find someone before the Templars do. We'll be patrolling the harbor all day. She'll be safe here with us. Barnabas? Ah, yes. Who sent you? Alexander of Limassol said I might find you here. I've been following Armand Bouchard. Ah, Bouchard is in Carinia. He's probably visiting his prisoners in Bufavento. Bufavento? Is that a keep nearby? A, a castle, yes. It was once the residence of a wealthy Cypriot noblewoman. Until the Templar seized her property. Can you take me there? Well, I can do more than that, actually. I can get you inside without the guards batting an eye, but you must first do something for me. For the Resistance. A familiar request. What is it? We have a trader in our midst. A respected merchant by the name of Jonas. Eliminate him, and I'll fulfill my end of the bargain. It will be done. That must be Jonas. And how many soldiers are nearby? One, two, three. They're not paying much attention. This should be easy. An assassin? Does Saladin have his eyes on poor Cyprus too? The assassins have no ties to the Saracen. Our business is our own. Whatever the case, word of your presence is widespread, and the bull has put a bounty on your head. And the head of your female consort. I'm worth more and more every day. <laughs> Curious last words, Jonas. Still, you are helpful. If mercenaries are combing the streets searching for me and Maria, she won't be safe for much longer. They jumped us. It was all so sudden. Well, Maria, it seems there's a hefty price on both our heads. A price? Goddamn Bouchard. He probably thinks I'm your bloody apprentice. Someone called the Bull has dispatched his men to search for us. The Bull? So they gave that cell at his own parish? Is he a friend of yours? Hardly. His name is Moloch. He's a pious blowhard with arms like tree trunks. Do you know the Resistance safe house in the commons? I know where it is, but I've never been inside. I'm just a foot soldier for the Resistance. I can't be seen with Maria, so you'll have to take her. Keep her out of sight, and meet me there when you're safe. I know some back alleys and tunnels. It may take longer, but we'll get her there in one piece. I just got word that someone found poor Jonas's body. What a waste, eh? <laughs> you knew him better than me. I'm sure he understood the risk of playing both sides. Yes, unfortunately this has complicated things. Jonas was a respected Cypriot and his death has sparked riots near the old church. The public is hungry for revenge, and to quell this, the bull will call you out. You may lose the support of the resistance. One death is enough to spark a riot? The Bull has been a cruel master, and unlike the Templars, he actually believes what he preaches. He loathes our local faith, and even went so far as to steal a set of historic scrolls from us, claiming they were symbols of pagan blasphemy. But Jonas was a traitor. Did the Resistance not know? Not enough of them, I am afraid. The Resistance is quite scattered. Well, you'll have the chance to tell them yourself. Some men are on their way here now. You are bringing people here? People you can trust? I'm not sure who I can trust right now. 
but it's worth the risk. Right now, I have to stop these riots from spreading. And, uh, per our bargain, I will see what I can do about getting you close to Beauchart. A deal is a deal, eh? Agreeing to kill Jonas was rash. And until I find out more about Barnabas, I won't be running any more of his errands. Now, time to quell these riots before the bull clamps down harder. What's going on out there? The city is in turmoil. I've seen riots. The people are protesting the death of a citizen, a man named Jonas. Have you heard of him? My father knew him well. He was a good man. How did he die? Bravely. Listen, Marcos, things have gotten complicated. Before I find Bouchard, I need to eliminate the bull and put an end to his violence. You have quite a taste for chaos, Altair. The bull is one man responsible for the subjugation of thousands. Few will mourn his loss. And you propose to just fly into Kantara, sting him, and exit unnoticed? He surrounds himself with devoted worshippers. Kantara? That's to the east? Yes, it's the most well-defended... Forget it. You'll see. Tyranny ends here, Moloch. No. It will continue beyond me and you. And for shot, it will outlast us all. Altair, we were attacked. We tried to fight them off, but it was no use. Did they take Maria? I think so. They took everyone else. I wanted to stop them, but I had to hide. There were too many. This was not your fault. The Templars are crafty. I've heard they harness the powers of a dark oracle in Buffavento. That must be how they found us. That's a curious theory. But I suspect it was Barnabas who tipped them off. Barnabas? How can that be? The resistance leader Barnabas was executed the day before you arrived. Before I arrived? Altair, the Templars are preparing to execute our men. You must stop them. Here. Stop! 
Stop the assassin! I wasn't able to locate all of your men, Marcos. They may still be imprisoned, either at the harbor jail or in Buffavento. It would help to narrow that down. We don't have much time. Many of the jailers like to drown their sorrows in the harbor district after a day's work. You may be able to find information there. Still no sign of Maria? None. You think maybe she misses your company? She might after she learns more about her old friends. Meet me later, outside the gates to Buvavento. You're not allowed here. Are you threatening me? What's gotten into you? Keep that up and you'll pay dearly. You don't even know how to use that thing. Coward! You want to fight? Then show your face! Forgive me, Sergeant. It's the wine getting to me. You resemble the man who took my job. Eh? Where were you posted? I worked in the chapel at Buvavento. Until Bouchard got me drunk on wine. Oh. <laughs> Rough work around that old oracle, eh? I'm working the harbor prison myself, keeping watch over those resistant scumbags. Are they still there? Sure, and they ain't getting out. Just one Templar holds the key, a fella up at the Crusader outpost. If he loses that set, those bastards will rot in their cells. We can't let that happen, can we? <laughs> Thank you, sir. May God bless you. Was there a woman with you when you were taken? A woman? Uh, yes, sir. Until the bull's son, Shalim, took her away in chains. She didn't go quietly. Hurry now. Return to your families. Don't let him escape! Altair, I just heard the news. More of our brothers are free? Yes, but Bouchard seems to have his eyes on every branch of the Resistance. Be wary. It's that Oracle. She sees everything. She's a menace and must be stopped. I don't know what this Oracle is telling the Templars, but if they were able to break the real Barnabas before he died, they may have broken her too. Good God. Do you suppose they tortured the poor man? I think I'd like to have a talk with this Oracle myself. So the girl got away again, did she? I'm sure she had help. One minute she was chained up, the next she was gone. Don't insult me, Shalim. Your weakness for women is well known. You let your guard down and she just walked away. I will find her again, Grandmaster. I swear it. Do it quickly, before she leads the assassin directly to the Archive. Oh, and Shalim, see that this is delivered to Alexander in Limassol. Yes, Grandmaster. Alexander is working with the Templars too? My god, Bouchard has spies everywhere. <laughs> What's happening? It's that madwoman, sir. She's on a rampage. Two of the guards are dead. Let her play. She has served her purpose. Pig in blood. I know your name, sinner. I know why you're here. God guide my claws. God grant me strength to snap your bow. God guide and protect me. 
The devil sends his demons and I answer the challenge. Keep still, heathen. I fear no pain, no death. You were a Cypriot once, a respected noblewoman. What secrets did you tell those devils? Not without purpose do I deal in misery. By God's command, I am his instrument. Whatever the Templars have done to you, my lady, they have done you wrong. Forgive me for this. were the ones that came before? What brought them here? What drove them out? What of these artifacts? Messages in a bottle? Tools left behind to aid and guide us? Or do we fight for control over their refuse, giving divine purpose and meaning to little more than discarded toys? The Oracle is dead. She won't be spilling any more secrets. Ah, that is a great relief. Who is Shalim? I overheard him talking to Bushar earlier, discussing Maria. It seems they lost her. Shalim is the bull's whelp, a vicious man, though not so devout as his father. He's been seen with Bouchard on more than one occasion. I think I'll tail him for a while, to see what I can learn. Meet me in the market district when you're through. I'd like to know what you've found. My father's been murdered, soldier, and I'm in no mood to spend my own money on women. Why don't we spend a little of his? Take a break. Shalim's orders. You ugly wretch. A face like yours ought to be taxed. Please. You've no right to do this. Thugs, this will be quick. What's the take today, hmm? Not bad, Shalim. Enough to buy some wine and a bit of fun. <laughs> I like the way you think, soldier. Let's go! Raise a mug, Shalim! <laughs> Shalim, no! Please don't! Have your fun, man! And round up some local talent for me when you're finished. You're right. Shalim is no gentleman. I just watched him tear through a brothel like a feral dog. Uh, he does that every week. No respect for anyone. I need to get closer. If he's as stupid as he is brash, I may be able to get some secrets out of him. Speak to one of the monks near the cathedral. Shalim's wayward lifestyle demands frequent confessions. It's worth a try. Any sign of Maria? No. 
None at all. I do hope she's safe. If she's safe, then we aren't. So stay alert. Does it not trouble you, brother, to suffer the sins of such a vile man as Shalim? It does, but to oppose him would mean death. The Templars have too much at stake here. You mean the Archive? Can you tell me where it is? Hush, we can speak about this later. Men and women of Cyprus. Armand Bouchard sends his blessing, but with a stern provision that all who foment disorder by their support of their resistance will be caught and punished. But those who seek order and harmony and pay obeisance to the Lord through good work will enjoy Bouchard's charity. Now, let us work together as brothers to rebuild what hate and anger have torn down. Strange. He's quite charitable this morning. Paying penance for his guilty conscience? Back so soon? The Bull's son has a confused strategy for Cyprus. Abusing the population one day, and giving to charity the next. That's how the Templars keep us docile. Building churches and giving to charity. I need to catch Shalim when he's alone. You might try the harbor. Shalim likes to idle there whenever a ship full of exotic consorts arrives. Ah, there you are, Maria. Clever lady. Or damned foolish. If any of those guards stop her palanquin, they may recognize her. I'd better clear the path ahead. I didn't expect to see you again. How can I help you, little fox? I'm not here to be flattered. I want answers. Oh? Is it true what I've heard? That the Templars wish to use the Apple of Eden for ill? Not to enlighten the people, but to subdue them? People are confused, Maria. They're lambs begging to be led. And that's what we offer. Simple lives, free of worry. But our order was created to protect the people, not rob them of their liberty. The Templars put no stock in liberty, Maria. We seek order, nothing more. Order or enslavement? You can call it whatever you like, my dear. Assassin! Ugh. Apologies, Shalim. I let myself in. You're looking for Shalim, eh? I'm sure my brother would be happy to join us.
two of them and two of us. Ha. You dishonored our father, assassin. But you won't dishonor his cause. Ha! Does this road and scare you, Shahar? We'll kill you first, and then the girl. It's happening, Altair. The ports are emptying of Templar ships. Carinia will be free. Maybe all of Cyprus. Stay cautious. They wouldn't leave that archive undefended, so it cannot be here. Most of the ships that left here were headed back to Limassol. Could it be there? Thank you, Marcos. You have served your country well. Godspeed, Altair. I remember my moment of weakness, my confidence shaken by Al Mualim's words. He, who had been like a father, was revealed to be my greatest enemy. Just the briefest flicker of doubt was all he needed to creep into my mind with this device. But I vanquished his phantoms, restored my self-confidence, and sent him from this world. Traitor, you have betrayed the resistance and sold out our cause. Have you been working with Bouchard all this time? I was about to ask the same of you, Alexander. I overheard Bouchard mention your name. He delivered a package to you, did he not? Yes, the head of poor Barnabas in a burlap sack. This was not the man who met me in Karenia. What? The real Barnabas had been murdered before I arrived. Replaced by a Templar agent who did a good deal of damage before vanishing. God help us. The Templars have been equally brutal here, with captains roaming the market, the ports, and the Cathedral Square, arresting anyone they see fit. Don't despair. Kirenia has already shaken off the Templars. We will expel them from Limassol, too. You're right. But you must be careful. Templar propaganda has turned some of my men against you. And most others are wary. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, I just got in yesterday. I'd rather be at sea than idling away in this dump. You know where I can find some entertainment, eh? Oh, eh? a message for Aman Bouchard. Has he come through this port recently? I couldn't say. But he'd do well to avoid this place. We had some awful murders here last night. Who was killed? Templars? No. A couple of my men working the docks. Cut down where they stood. It was so dark. Nobody saw a thing. Who was on duty that night? A goddamn Templar sergeant. But you won't find him here if you're looking. I am. He's over by the cathedral today. Praying for his own soul, I hope. Kill him! Kill the assassin! Get him! Feeling brave, are we? You can't.
cower like a man racked with a guilty conscience. You're getting desperate, assassin. Attacking us blindly, grasping for answers? You let Bouchard slip through the ports last night, and murder two good men in the process. That wasn't my work. I just patrol there. Go pester Demetrius. He practically owns those ports. Demetrius? A wealthy man, I suppose. Oh, quite. A debauched merchant and gluttonous worm. But he's been a useful ally in this operation. <laughs> You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Ah, girls, oh my lovelies. Spare an old man from his paltry imagination and let me gaze upon the reality of your beauty. Ah! Huh? This isn't a public house. For God's sake, remove yourself, Popper, before I call the guards. I'm here on business, Demetrius. I'm looking for one of your clients. A killer. What makes you think I know where to find such a man? I deal in textiles, not cutthroats. Then what am I to make of the rumor that Bouchard hired you to sneak him through the ports this morning? <laughs> you, you're crazy. I, I would never work with that, that vile man. Ladies, would you give us a moment? Please stop! What is it you want? I'll tell you everything! That damned killer! A Templar cutthroat! It was he who paid me to... Oh! A note from Alexander. He's planning something in the castle courtyard. I'm not sure what this means, but it would be wise to be cautious. Oh, Alexander. A friend of yours? You. I didn't catch your name. What did I tell you in Kyrenia? Was it, uh, Barnabas? There's the traitor! String him up! Ah, sounds like public opinion has turned against you, assassin. Stop! I will not fight you. I am not your enemy. Armand Bouchard is the man responsible for your misery. He hired this man to poison the resistance against itself. Go from this place, and rally your men. Cyprus will be yours once again. Quite a toy you have there. Do you mind if I borrow it? So, you had it all along. And now you see what kind of weapon it could be, in the wrong hands. I don't know that I'd call yours the right hands. No, quite right. I will destroy it. Or hide it. Until I find the archive, I can't say. Well, look no further. You're standing on it. Kill him! Kill the assassin! This way, quickly! Emperor Comnenus. He was a fool, but he was our fool. For almost a decade we operated in secret on this island. Our archive was the best kept secret on Cyprus. Unfortunately, even the best laid plans were not immune to Isaac's idiocy. He angered King Richard and brought the English a little too close for comfort. Is that it? Fortunately, we were able to convince Richard to sell the island to us. It was the only way to avert his attention. Purchasing what you already controlled. And look where that has gotten us. Ever since you showed up and stuck your nose into too many dark corners, 
The Archive hasn't been safe. I wish I could say I'm sorry, but I tend to get what I want. Oh, not this time, Assassin. Not now. Our little detour to Karenia gave us just enough time to dismantle the Archive and move it. You weren't shipping artifacts too, Cyprus. You were shipping them out. Exactly. But not everything has to go. I think we'll leave you right here. Strayed from yours. Not strayed. Expanded. The world is more complicated than most dare admit. And if you, assassin, if you knew more than how to murder, you might understand this. Save your lecture on virtue for yourself. And die knowing that I will never let the Apple of Eden fall into any hands but my own. <sighs> Keep it close, Altair. You will come to the same conclusions we did. In... Everything I worked for in the Holy Land, I no longer want. And everything I gave up to join the Templars. I wonder where all that went. And if I should try to find it again. Will you return to England? No. I am so far from home already. I'll continue on. East. To India, perhaps. Or until I fall off the far edge of the world. And you? For a long time under Al Mualim, I thought my life had reached its limit, and that my sole duty was to show others the same precipice I had discovered. Yes, I felt the same once. As terrible as this artifact is, it contains wonders. I would like to understand it as best I can. You tread a thin line, Altair. I know, but I have been ruined by curiosity, Maria. I want to meet the best minds, explore all the libraries of the world, and learn all the secrets of nature and the universe. All in one lifetime? It's a little ambitious. Who can say? It could be that one life is just enough. Maybe. And where will you go first? East. Our origins seem chaotic, unintended, with purpose and being instilled solely by the passage of time, imposed by nature and only later by men. What should we do with this rare gift of life?
I hope you guys enjoyed your video. Uh, as always, don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe. Please, please leave a like. It will really help the channel out. And don't forget to check out other content on my channel. And if you like what you see, subscribe. Thank you and have an awesome day, guys.